Hello, this is Austech, and on behalf of my first video, I'm going to be showing you something that I made in C++ in about half an hour. What this program does is you can set, you can click on these points, any point on your um, screen, and then with this program, it'll keep on clicking on those points over and over again. Now, this is what the program looks like. It's a basic console app. Didn't want to get too fancy with this, so I was just having fun. And if you can't see this on YouTube, it says F1 get point, F2 start slash stop auto click, F3 delete point, F4 set timer, and F10 quit. Now with F1, you can move your mouse to any point of your screen, and F1, 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 F1. Now, if you didn't notice, I was just you know putting points of a square. And over here, you notice something changed. Here it says point zero x equals 1,570, y equals 18. Point one x equals 253, y equals 25, and so on. Now, these points tell you, you know, obviously the points on your screen. Now, let's see this in action. I'm going to press F2 now. And if you can see the mouse on YouTube, uh, it might be hard to see due to the quality. It's moving to those points, and this is not me editing the video. It's not me moving the mouse. You know, it's going directly to these points. Um, I'm not sure if you believe that or you don't, but it is. And now I'm going to stop it. Press F2. Now I have control of the mouse. Now let's say during me making these points, I accidentally pressed F2 here. Oh, sorry. I mean, pressed F1 here. Now, it's not the end of the world. You know, you don't have to restart the application. I added a handy feature to delete a point. What this feature does is you remove the last point that you made. Just like Control Z on Microsoft Paint or any undo button, you know, Gary's Mod if you played that, and so on. And, you know. Now, even when you do start and stop it, you can add points to this, as I showed you, and it'll just follow that path. Now, some of you might be asking, well, what can this app be used for? And I'm going to stop this camp studio for a second, and I'm going to bring up a game that I'm sure all of you guys heard of, and, um... You'll see. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure I know what you guys are all thinking. This guy makes programs and plays RuneScape? What is this guy, you total nerd? Well, I'm sure you may be thinking that, but the answer is no. You see, this RuneScape account was made way back, like four years ago. And I remembered the password. I figured, hey, this could be used for the video. So, now... Let's just put up a scenario. Let's say you gotta leave right now, but you still want to get mine, or I mean, whatever this is, coal. Well, we can bring up this program and F1 on this spot. What is wrong with this? <laughs> Sorry, I'm having technical difficulty at the moment. Oh, there we go. Okay. I can press F1 here, F1 there, and F1 here. Now, I can't click on any of these rocks because I found this out, you know, the hard way. I had to restart the video, restart making this video because of this. But, um, you see, when your player moves, so does the screen of this game. So, like, if, you, if you're standing here and one of your points is over here, when you move there, you know, the point you know the screen moves so your point is gonna click here and then there so unfortunately you gotta be in a spot you know where you're surrounded by rocks and you don't have to move you know but what can I do so I clicked on these three rocks and now I'm gonna start it I'm sorry that these two guys are here you know I don't want to tell them to leave but let's start it there I go clicking and um there I go but obviously 
as you can see, I'm clicking way too fast. I can't, you know, I can't mine that fast unless, you know, you're level 99, if that's still even possible. So you could set the timer if there was, you know, minerals there. And, you know, I guess this is a reasonable time. Eight seconds. And then you would have two. And there I go. Wait. Eight seconds. But, you know, I don't want to sit you guys through this agonizing pain of me failing at a RPG. But, um... If you like this app and you know you figured, hey, I could use this. Um, I'll th I'm considering putting this up on an upload site, and one if I do that, I'll let you guys know and I'll put it in the comment side. So um, rate if you liked it, rate bad if you don't. I don't care. But um, hopefully I'll make more videos and uh, keep on programming and keep on having fun.